Hi kids! Welcome back to online Sunday school. We hope you've all had a really good week. And we're looking forward to spending this time with you. Hey Book, do you know what makes this day really special? Um, hmm. Is it because we don't have to go to school until tomorrow? Something even more special than that. Um, oh, is it because we get to have Sunday school today? Okay, there's something else as well. Hmm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Kids, do you know what Sharon is talking about? See, they know. It's Mother's Day. Oh, wow, of course it is. That is a special day when we get to honour and thank our mums for being the best mums ever. Exactly right. You know what? I think our mums are pretty amazing and that goes for our birth mums, our spiritual mums and our honorary mums. Definitely. In fact, each letter in the word mother stands for something pretty special. Yeah, that's right. So the M stands for them actually being our mothers. It's such a blessing to have a mother and to be a mother. And the O stands for others. So often our mums put everyone else first before themselves, like you and me. T is for teachers. Our mums are our first teachers. They teach us everything. They teach us how to walk, how to talk, how to love, and they even teach us about Jesus. And then the H stands for heart. A mother's heart is a beautiful thing. No one loves their husbands and their children like a mother does. E stands for example. Our mothers are our first examples of how to live a godly life. And R stands for refuge. Our mother is a safe place. We can always share everything with our mums and go to them when we're hurt or sad. These words describe my mum exactly. What about you? Yeah, absolutely. Kids, if you think you can remember last week's memory verse, ask your parents to video you reciting it and post it below in the comments section. Try to be creative and the winner will receive something special in the post. This week's memory verse is from Proverbs 23:25. It says, Let your mother be glad and let her rejoice who gave birth to you. Proverbs 23:25. Shall we read it together? For sure. And kids, join us this time. Proverbs 23:25. Let your mother be glad and let her rejoice who gave birth to you. Proverbs 23:25. Hey kids, for our activity today, we thought we'd do some cooking together and make something special for our mums. Remember, what's the first thing that you do when you're cooking is you wash, wash your hands. So today, we're going to be making these box cupcakes. So in the box, there should be two packets. To make the cupcake mixture, it'll be the darker, bigger packet. So we'll put the smaller one away for now. And all you'll need to make this is 60 grams of butter, 2 eggs, 150 ml of milk, cupcake tray and cupcake holders, an electric mixer which you might need your parents to help you with, a mixing bowl and a spatula and spoon. Place the cupcake mix, the eggs, milk and butter into the mixing bowl. Using an electric mixer, mix on low speed until the ingredients are all combined. After that, mix on medium speed for two minutes, but make sure you get your parents to help you with this one. Once you have lined the cupcake tray, Divide the batter evenly between the 12 cases using spoons.
put the cupcakes into a 160 degree fan force preheated oven for 25 minutes to bake. Empty frost the frosting mixture into a mixing bowl with the butter and milk. Then, using an electric mixer, mix on low speed until the ingredients are combined and then mix on medium speed for two more minutes. And remember to get your parents' help with this one. So once the cupcakes are fully cooked and you've let them cool down, you can put icing on top. And after you've put the icing on top, you can then decorate it with hundreds of thousands or rainbow confetti or anything that you have at home. Like this and don't forget to share them with your mum. Kids, should we pray together and thank God for our mums? Dear Jesus, thank you for our mums. Thank you for everything that they do for us. Thank you for making them our mums. Please bless them and keep them in everything they do. We love them so much. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Kids, if you have any prayer points, please share them in the comment section below and we'll pray for them in the next video. Thank you for joining us for Kids Church today. Don't forget to give your mum an extra big hug today and thank you for everything that she does for you. And make sure you practice the memory verse this week. Kids, you can also post photos of your cupcakes in the comments below. Make sure you check with the parent first. Remember, if you are older, between 8 and 12, there is a study you can do on the Facebook page. That's all for today, guys. We'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye.